Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lauren and today's video is going to be a clean and declutter with me. I'm also sharing one of our favorite salads at the end and a muffin recipe, so make sure you stick around for that. If you are new, please introduce yourself in the comments. I love talking with you guys down there and make sure you subscribe if you enjoy cleaning, organizing, and recipe ideas. I love to have you a part of my channel. I'm getting started in the kitchen. My last few videos seem to always start off here because it's probably the most used area of our house right now. There is constantly something to clean and I usually like to run the dishwasher while I'm cleaning the rest of the house just so I can empty it right after. And when I start doing any type of cleaning, I like to clean in little spurts throughout the day if I can so things aren't piled up and unmanageable. The kitchen is a place I will clean two to three times a day right now because we are home and I do it typically after every meal just to stay on top of dishes and everything else. One thing I have been doing for years is to deep clean one part of my house a day, whether that's the microwave, which I'm doing today, or cleaning out a closet, wiping down the washing machine, whatever you have time to do, whether it's small or something that's more time consuming, just pick one task, set a timer, and get it done because it does pay off when you do your big cleaning days just to have a one less thing that you have to tackle. So that's just a little tip for you guys. It's something I work towards every day. This is the before of the microwave. If the inside of yours is really caked on with food, you can just add some water to a bowl with lemon or vinegar and pop it in the microwave for about five minutes just to loosen everything in there. But mine didn't have too much stuck on food, so I'm just spraying the Mrs. Meyer spray generously and letting it sit there while I clean the glass tray and then I will go back to scrubbing it out. In the sink, I combine dish soap with baking soda and I use a sponge to scrub out the entire sink basin. I always buy my baking soda in bulk on Amazon and I put it into this glass jar just so it looks nice under the sink and it's not sitting in a bag that can open up and spill everywhere. Once the sink is cleaned out, I go in with some Lysol just to make sure I'm disinfecting it too. When it comes to the stainless steel appliances, I love the Wayman cleaning wipes. These are definitely one of my holy grail cleaning products. They leave everything streakless. And what I've noticed from watching cleaning videos is a lot of people have different types of stainless steel. I don't even know if that's a thing, but products like Pledge or glass cleaners have not worked on mine. It looks like I rubbed butter all over the front of them, but I know that they work on so many other people's appliances. You definitely have to find what works for you and what works for your appliances. So I'm just using these now around the entire kitchen and as I was cleaning the front of the fridge I noticed how many crumbs were between the fridge and the cabinet to the left of it so I grabbed my Swiffer flipped it around and just used the handle with a cloth at the end of it to pull out any of the dust or crumbs that were stuck Cause I'm thinking I 
I'm clearing off our breakfast nook area, wiping down the counters, and then dusting off the legs of the chairs. I always forget to clean these, so they really needed it. And later on in this video, I will be tackling my closet and going through everything, decluttering and purging stuff I don't wear anymore. I did this about a year ago and had garbage bags full to donate, so take a guess about how many bags I will have this go around in the comments below. The dining room table was pretty clean, so I'm just using some water on a microfiber cloth to wipe it down, and the tulips we had out were starting to die, so I was just picking up the petals that had fallen on the ground. Next up, I'm picking up everything in the living room, fluffing the pillows and folding the blankets. As I was wiping down the table, I saw some dust bunnies that were under the couch, so I decided to do a deeper clean today and vacuum underneath them. It had been several weeks, so it was definitely needed at this point. Oh, 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 oh,
when no one ever ever could come close look around but i can't see that is usually just how it goes brought a new horizon opened up our doors to something more spun me round and you shook me got me tainted to the core so tell me After getting the laundry going, I'm heading into the bedroom and if you've been around for a while, you might notice that we painted it. I shared a sneak peek on my Instagram over the weekend, but we finally finished it and we love it. I will insert a clip of what it looked like before so you can see, but over time, the paint that we had had just become discolored. It had been 11 years since it's been painted, so it's been a while and it needed a little refresh. I also painted all the furniture in the bedroom to a white and I will insert clips at the end of this video so you can see the process of that. At. but while we've been home we've been trying to complete as many projects as we can things that we've just put off or haven't had time to do we are soon going to be tackling the garage and the attic that's a huge project there's so much stuff in there maybe i'll film parts of it but let me know if you guys want to see that my movie, but now it's done still stuck in my seat and getting off easy like i'm doing time yet without parole got me flirting with disaster but i'm all in Tell me, tell me, tell me what to do When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Close to you For the longest time This bedroom was a complete disaster over the weekend from moving things around and out of the way to paint and a ton of dust was left behind so I'm going to wipe down the mirrors and furniture, put things back where they belong and then wipe down the TV. We had to take it off the wall to paint and there are fingerprints all over from hanging it back up and I'm leaving the walls bare for now because I'm not sure what type of decor I want to add back in here and I don't want to create any more holes until I know but if you have any recommendations or ideas for me let me know down below. Before pulling out all the clothes from my closet, I wanted to fold the laundry that was in this room. I always like to declutter in a clean space so I'm not overwhelmed. Somehow we've had just as many clothes being washed as we did before even though we are in loungewear most of the day. But the one good thing is I usually wash, fold, and put away all in the same day now since I have the time. If you only close, I won't let go again. We have time to When I went to put away my socks, I realized this drawer was just out of hand. I had socks from high school still in here and I don't think anyone needs this many socks. So I pulled them all out and tossed the majority of them so I can find the socks that I wear on a daily basis much easier. Let me know if you're a black, white, or colored sock person. I usually stick with black socks, but lately I'm getting back into the white ones. So let me know down below what you prefer.
When decluttering the closet, I wanted to focus on the KonMari method where you pull everything out and go through things one by one. I really thought to myself every time I picked up a piece of clothing if I'm actually wearing this or have I worn it in the last few months. There are some exceptions like my seasonal clothing that I may not have worn in the last few months, but aside from that, I wanted to be practical. There were some pieces in here that I've had since I was 18 and now I'm 30, so it was time to get rid of them. I'm just focusing on things that I actually wear and donating the rest and today Today, I'm working on the left side of the closet and not touching the right side. I like to tackle projects a little bit at a time so I'm not overwhelmed. And this is a true speed clean for you guys because it took me hours to get through everything and put everything back in. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Tonight we could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find them while I was decluttering everything, I was also grouping everything in like categories, so by color or the type of shirt and sweater it was, just so everything looked organized in the closet and things would be easy to find. I also wanted to switch out all of the hangers for these white velvet ones from Amazon. I'll link them down below. It was a really great deal for a pack of 50. Part of the shipment was delayed though, so I'm going to use the black hangers that I already had in my closet for the sweaters on the left hand side and just replace those when they come in. But clearly, I had 3,000 different hangers in this closet, so it was nice to get them all on the same type of hanger. A million years later and the closet is finally done with well, the left hand side of it and everything looks so much more organized and clean and I can actually find things that I want to wear now instead of searching through old pieces that I never wear. So I wanted to add in this clip of painting my furniture since I have received questions about it in the past. When we painted the wall, the furniture became more noticeably yellow, so I just wanted to paint the furniture a solid white. I'm using an all-surface enamel. I have used chalk paint in the past. To me, this is just a cleaner look. So I'm rolling it on, and as I'm rolling it on, you can see how much different it looks against the cream that was there. I was also working with what I had, so you will see me going in with a makeup brush to do detail work. Clearly, I won't be using this makeup brush again but just a tip if you do any type of painting to save all of your old makeup brushes for painting it works just the same girl i can tell that you have something on your mind 
But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes now onto one of our favorite salads. You're going to start off with whatever lettuce you like. I just use spinach for this one and I'm topping it with some quinoa. I wait till it cools off a little bit just so it's not steaming hot on the salad. I don't add any chicken or steak to this salad. To me, the quinoa is filling enough, but you can definitely add that if you want. Next, I'm adding in some red onions, chopped apples, pecans and then cranberries. You can also top with feta cheese or whatever type of cheese that you like. For the dressing, I keep it so simple. This is one of my favorites. It's just white balsamic, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. You have to remember the garlic powder. It makes it so good. And this dressing is good on so many different types of salads. Next are peach cobbler muffins. I'm preheating the ovens at 350 degrees and I'm going to start by making the batter which is 2 thirds cup of sugar, 1 and 1 fourth cup of flour, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, 2 cups of peaches. I'm just using canned but you can also use fresh if you have them on hand. The topping is 1 4th cup of flour, 1 4th cup of brown sugar, 3 tablespoons of butter, and you're going to top the muffins with this mixture and a few more peaches. They turned out so good and it's definitely something different to try out while you're home. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.